30, the final race of the weekend for the IAMI O plate. Senior X30 about to take to the circuit. Clayton Ravenscroft starting on pole position from Harry Platten, the GP plate. Either one of those could take it. Callum Bradshaw and Reggie Dewey. Can the privateer bring it to the teams? Starting on fourth place, Thomas Fleming and Gus Lawrence on row number three with Thomas Turner and Alessandro Serenetti on row four. Brad Pennell and Aaron Walker round out row five and Caleb Marshall, Lucas Ellingham rounding out row number six. Louis Westover, Cole Kilner, Daryl DeLeon and Lewis Mackey round out row sevens and eight. Marcus Littlewood and Connor Jupp on row nine. Matthew Higgins and Louis Johnson Cool on row 10 with Tyler Reed, Archie Tillett on row 11. Oliver Hodgson and Joseph Taylor rounding out row 12. Jude Farinho and Theo McCurris. On row 13, Oliver Greetham and Philip Rawson round out row 14 with Tom Nippers and Casper Scusa rounding out the top 30 on row 15. Connor Clifford and Charlie Lamb on row 16 with Harry Piers and Alfie Prince rounding out row 17. Gary Edwards rounding out the field. Green flags out. Away they go. Good start from Ravenscroft. Platten goes down into third. Already up into second place. Bradshaw takes it. As they go through and round the outside, Reggie Dewey tries to get that move done as well as there's two cuts off. The 26 and the 27, Brad Pennell. And my goodness me, Brad Pennell and the 26 as well have gone awry. Cole Kilner, the mixed Barrett racing driver, has gone off. There was a third cart also off. We'll find out who they are when they next cross the line as well. Support on the stream for Marcus Littlewood. So support all the way through this field, but Ravenscroft leading the way. As they go through into Bobby Game corner. Such a fast corner that one, so inviting, but that wall comes so close on the exit. Out of the final corner. Ravenscroft, Bradshaw, Platten, Dewey, Fleming, Turner, Lawrence, Serenetti, Walker, Jupp are your top 10, the three drivers that went down, Brad Pennell, Caleb Marshall was one of them as well, Cole Kilner, so it was Caleb Marshall, the 61 Dan Holland racing cart that was also involved in that incident at turn one, and they've got a lot of work to do now, Brad Pennell crosses the line, carries on, we're yet to see Caleb Marshall and Cole Kilner yet to come across the line, they might have already retired. No, Cole Kilner crosses the line. Caleb Marshall has retired. So the 75 of Ravenscroft leads the way. That looks like Reggie Dewey, the 66, that's up into second place. It is. So Dewey has made his way up into sixth place. Curtis says good luck to Makuris. Theo Makuris out there currently. Where's Theo sitting at the moment? Currently in 20th pace as they go through the bridge section. There's a change for the lead. Reggie Dewey to the lead. The privateer driver takes the lead over the bridge and says to Ravenscroft, let's go. Is Ravenscroft going to listen or is he going to go for that lunge? He stays behind this time around. But Dewey this time around with the clear air. He missed qualifying. He started at the back of all of his heats. He came through. He came through in the pre-finals. He's now leading the final here for Senior X30 in the IAMI O plate at PF International. Round into Mike Wilson Complex. Towards the final corner. Ravenscroft staying behind. Let's call it as they cross the line. So Dewey from Ravenscroft, Bradshaw, Fleming, Lawrence, Turner, Platten has dropped down several positions. The GP plate and down the inside goes Ravenscroft. Another change for the lead. Ravenscroft doesn't listen. He says, no, I'm taking this position back. And Dewey responds immediately. Dewey responds. Ravenscroft wide on the exit. Here comes Bradshaw. Bradshaw alongside. Here comes Fleming. Fleming can't do it. He stays behind in four. Bradshaw now into second. Ravenscroft into third and Dewey leading this race once more Fleming does get past defense furiously from Ravenscroft here comes Thomas Turner Gus Lawrence also in the background as well he's lost his teammate Pennell 
out of this race. He's in 32nd place at the moment in that 27, so it's Gus Lawrence all on his own. But out of the final corner, the 66, Reggie Dewey leading the way across the line. Bradshaw in second place, trying to respond and can't at the moment. Great, uh, Ravenscroft back into third place, gets past Fleming. Fleming down into fourth, fifth, sixth place now for Fleming. Lawrence gets through. Turner gets through. Higgins with the fastest lap of the race. 58-6-7-0. Currently in 15th place. Jupp has moved up into 10th place. Louis Westover has dropped down now into 11th. The two at the front here. Reggie Dewey, Callum Bradshaw with a breakaway. Clear by 1.1 seconds. Support for Tyler Harris. More support for Gus Lawrence. 10 minutes to go, plus that one additional lap. Out of the final corner once more. We finish lap four. We finish lap five, sorry. We start lap six across the line. No moves yet from Bradshaw. Bradshaw waiting. Waiting for that opportunity to get past. Dewey controlling the pace at the moment. Bradshaw there with the fastest lap of the race. 58-4-7-0. There is the third place driver, Clayton Ravenscross for KR Sport. There in third place, he's got the company of Thomas Turner, the strawberry racing driver, in fourth. Again, you'll probably find that they won't overtake, they won't lunge, they'll stay in their positions. They need to close that gap up in terms of pace. Bradshaw is pushing Dewey along here. And Ravenscroft is matching on overall pace but that means that they're not closing in the gap is 1.1 seconds at the moment what will it be when they next cross the line turner's not going for any moves here he feels like uh, ravenscroft has got the momentum to keep up with them the gap's still the same one second they do take a little bit of time out of them gus lawrence now with the fastest lap of the race 58 4 he's got the pace he's got the waft in that pf international cart can he get the places though there is confirmation, courtesy of Motorsport Dash Timing, Ian Rogers, and there is the move. There's the move for the lead. Bradshaw, before they even get to the braking zone, Dewey slots in behind, doesn't fight it. And Thomas Turner down the inside. Turner takes third. Ravenscroft down into uh, fourth and says, think, let's go. Over the curb, through the Fullerton S's. Lawrence there. On the number five, the orange helmet, the orange and black cart. The rest of the order, though. So it's Bradshaw, Dewey. Then it's Turner, Ravenscroft, Lawrence, Platten, Walker, Lewis Mackey up eight positions in the one, two, five. Great running from Lewis. Thomas Fleming is down into ninth place. He has dropped four positions. Alessandro Serenetti has dropped two places, running now in the top ten. Daryl DeLeon in 11th place now in the number 14 KR Sport Cart. Action in the background. As defensive goes Ravenscroft, who takes back third place. Concertina ring up under braking. Fastest lap that time did go to the GP plate. Harry Platten, the man who started on the front row of the grid, currently sitting in sixth place. With that fastest lap, he's managed to get past Gus Lawrence, so he moves up into fifth place now, does Platten. But they need to try and work together to close that gap, because at the moment, that gap has extended once again. 1.2 seconds, they cross the line. Saying 1.2 seconds, seven minutes to go, plus that one additional lap. There you can see on the outside of the circuit, Caleb Marshall, the 61 out of this race a big shame down the hill they go a big look over the shoulder there from bradshaw he doesn't defend dewey doesn't lunge they can see that they've got the gap they're continuing to extend that gap they want that buffer to battle later on in this race Six and a half minutes to go. Bradshaw, Dewey, absolutely nose to tail, nothing between them. 
Privateer versus Strawberry Racing. Who's going to come out on top? Six minutes to go, plus that one lap. Ravenscroft now with the fastest lap of the race, 57.83. So he is starting to close that gap. It is now less than a second, and there's the confirmation. Down the hill they go. He's bringing Thomas Turner. He's bringing Gus Lawrence. He's bringing Harry Platten. It's one big group all the way down to ninth place after these two. Another look over the shoulder from Dewey. Visibly, that gap is smaller. They are starting to close in now. Dewey's going to have to do something. There they are. Third place onwards. Ravenscroft and Turner working together. And from Curtis for Reggie. Win the race, he says. Curtis on the live chat. Can he do it though? Across the line again, whizzing past the static camera on the start finish line that shows the speed that these carts have got. Up the hill once more, two by two. First, second, third, fourth. The gap now, eight tenths of a second. It's slowly closing in. Thomas Turner now with the fastest lap of the race, 57, eight, two, zero. Still, these drivers not going for a move. Dewey staying behind there, Bradshaw holding on to that lead. Some of the bigger movers further back, 16th place. The 39, Philip Rawson is up 12 positions at the moment. Joseph Taylor up nine positions in 15th place. Oliver Hodgson up nine positions in 14th place. Daryl DeLeon in uh, still in 10th at five positions. Tom Nippers, 22nd place, up seven places. Charlie Lamb up eight positions. Connor Clifford up six positions. Alfie Prince up eight positions as well. 24th, 25th, 26th place for them. And again, Turner, fastest lap of the race, 57.65, purple, again, once more, and look at that gap now, three tenths of a second. And Dewey looks like he's starting to respond here, he looked like he was going to go for a move there, and now look, you can see Ravenscroft, he's saying think, and so is Dewey, Dewey's saying think, Dewey's saying don't go for a lunge here, if you go for a lunge here, Bradshaw's gone. Who is going to come out on top between any of these drivers? All of them, so quick. Gus Lawrence is still there, and there's a move. Dewey down to third. Ravenscroft up into second, and Dewey says, think. Think to Thomas Turner, don't go for it. Let us catch back up to Bradshaw, don't let him break away. Three and a half minutes through the Mike Wilson complex, and there's the move. Turner goes past Dewey, and Dewey's off the track. Oh my goodness me, the man who was leading the race. It looks like a mechanical issue. And Dewey, Reggie Dewey, the privateer who was looking so strong in this race is out. And what a disaster that is. What a disaster for Reggie Dewey. Back here at the front though, Bradshaw leading now from Ravenscroft and Turner. Your new top three. Uh, coming on the stream saying where's Theo McCurris. Uh, Theo currently in 16th place, up 10 positions in the number 74. Doing a good job there, just behind Philip Rawson, as well also up 13 places, but eyes here at the front. Mechanical gremlins costing drivers the O-plate. Costing drivers that chance to go to the IAMI World Finals. Any one of the top three will go to the IAMI World Finals. First place wins the full package. The full entry package to go to the IAMI World Finals. Second and third get a guaranteed entry into the finals. And Adria in October. But who is going to get that O-plate? There's a move there. Oh, it's Clayton Ravenscroft tried to go down the inside. The gap was there, but it closed quickly. And Gus Ravenscroft is dangling on the, in, uh, on the outside. Bradshaw takes third place back. Well, my goodness me, and Turner inherits the lead. Thomas Turner now leading this race for Strawberry Racing. I don't think he can quite believe it, how quickly it happened. There goes Platten. Ravenscroft now falling down the order. Platten up into four. Lewis Mackey 
also now up in that top five. So there, leading the way now, the number four, Thomas Turner. Second, Gus Lawrence, the number five. In towards hairpin two they go, and again, no lunges there, they stay behind. Lawrence waiting for that opportunity. You can see him hunkering down in that seat. Pushing that cart all the way to the edge. The third place battle still heating up. Bradshaw still there. From Platten, Mackey, the one, two, five. Lewis Mackey in fifth place. Any one of these top drivers could take it. 20 seconds left on the board. Last lap board will be out this time for the field. Turner leading from Lawrence. Anyone could win this. The timer strikes zero. Thomas Turner, our previous O Plate winner in 2018. Can he replicate that again in 2021? In towards the Fullerton S's for the penultimate time. These two drivers absolutely nose to tail. One more lap to go after this one. Turner from Lawrence. Strawberry Racing versus the PF International team. Last lap board is out. Here we go for Senior X30, race 34 of the weekend for the IAMI O-Plate and the international qualifier. Side by side, Lawrence takes to the outside. He's not going to have the optimum line here. He's going to have to slot back into place. He then tries to get the switchback move here. He'll look to the inside as they go down the hill. He can't do it. Defensive goes Turner. Lawrence to the outside, under braking. Can he make the job done? He outbreaks himself slightly, slots back in. Again, side by side. Thomas Turner hugging that inside line all the way, forces him wide. Now, here comes Lawrence. He tries to go down the inside in towards the Fullerton S's. Can't do it. Turner holding on to that one. As he exits out of the Fullerton S's, only a couple of corners to go. Lawrence again, all over the back of him. He's got the inside line. No, he can't do it. He stays behind. There's only one corner to really get this move done, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Thomas Turner for Strawberry Racing, the number four. It's the O-Plate. It's the international qualifier for Thomas Turner for Senior X30 across the line. Gus Lawrence crosses second. Harry Platten, the GP plate, takes third place. And the three entries... For the IAMI International Qualifiers goes to Thomas Cerner, Gus Lawrence and Harry Platten, provisionally of course. Until we get through scrutineering, Lewis Mackey take a bow, fourth place as well. Twelve positions gained in a Senior X30 final. What a result that is, but there, Thomas Turner, the O-Plate champion for Senior X30. There's a look at the provisional race results. Ravenscroft finishing in fifth in the end. From Walker, Serenetti. What a finish that is for Serenetti. Seventh place. Bradshaw in eighth. Darrell DeLeon in ninth. Up six positions. Louis Westover in tenth. Oliver Hodgson in twelfth place. Matthew Higgins in seventh. Fleming then finished that race in thirteenth at the end. Tyler Reed finishing in uh, 14th place, up seven positions. Theo McCorris in 15th, up 11. Oliver Greetham, Philip Rawson rounding out the 16th and 17th. And it was Archie Tillett in 18th place. Lucas Ellingham finishing that race in 19th. Connor Clifford, Charlie Lamb, 20th and 21st. Al uh, Alfie Prince in 22nd. Louis Johnson Cool in 23rd. Tom Nippers in 24th. Gus, can I have a quick chat with you? Thank you, mate. Second place. Tucked away and in a, at the moment in the race, we was, I think I was in fifth and in the two in front crashed. I was in second, so now was miles behind. And it was just a two, uh, two man race. Obviously, Thomas uh, won the race on track, but unfortunately got a nose cone due to the incident with Reggie. So, yes. Okay, I didn't know that. To win, but, um, Might have our new winner here. Yeah, um, but he won on track, so fair dues to him. But yeah, he did a good job defending, but. There you go, penalty. You might have got the win. It's too good to let someone pass, you know what I mean? It's, at this level, it's really hard. So, uh, yeah, fair play to him.